Oh no, dude. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be hopping into RBI Baseball 2019. I'm gonna be checking it out. I ended up getting it on the PlayStation Store for like 50% off. I figured why not? Let's explore the franchise mode in it because my goodness, the stuff I've heard. Holy crap, dude. And if you guys do not know, RBI Baseball is actually made by the MLB, okay? It's like physically owned and made by the MLB. So of course they're gonna have every single thing licensed for them and everything like that. So it's gonna be somewhat decent, but the thing is, it's not like a normal MLB The Show type game at all, really. It's more cartoony. It's not really as, you know, I dare say, because MLB The Show really isn't like this, but realistic. God, that word. One huge difference, though, between MLB The Show and RBI Baseball is that RBI Baseball is pretty much on everything. It's on Xbox. It's on PlayStation. I think it's on, like, Nintendo Switch or something crazy like that. So you could literally get RBI Baseball in anything. So really, if you're an Xbox guy like I was, that's your only game. Like this is literally your only baseball game that you could play besides like Super Mega Baseball, which I think is a huge mistake. That's so dumb. So maybe EA needs to jump in or something. I don't know, but I really think it'd be perfect for the MLB community to have one more game. All right, one more game that goes between PlayStation, Xbox, just made by somebody. You know, but I'm sure many of you guys know this SDS, the people that make the show 19 and just own the show in general, they're owned by Sony and that makes it hard for them to actually work with Xbox because why would they, you know, but either way, we're just going to kind of jump into RBI baseball. Hope you guys do enjoy it. If you guys do leave a like on it, subscribe if you guys are new and my gosh, here we go. If you guys want to stay more in touch with me, then follow my Instagram right there. And you know what? Twitter over there. Why not? But as you guys can see, you're already looking at the, uh, the graphics and everything. It's not horrible. It really isn't like, I think. It could be a lot worse, but just the fact that this is the competition that will be the show, it's a little bit frightening, to be honest. Like, this is it. Like, that that's legit it. This is the only other big baseball game besides that will be the show. Here we go, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, press X to start. Let's get this thing going. Okay, roster update. An updated roster is available. This update is required to play online. Oh my gosh, should we play online? I don't even know how to play this game. Either way, I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. I'm hoping that they keep their rosters a little bit more up to date than will be the show. Because with LMB The Show, like, you can't even get Tatis on your team. It's kind of insane, but still. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start a franchise. Apparently, it's only a 10-year franchise. And I don't really know. You know, I'm just going to pick a random team. But it's only 10 years. You can only go a maximum of 10 years, which I really... I think in LMB The Show, you can go a lot longer than 10 years. I haven't really tried it before. That might be a future video. I don't know. I'm just going to pick a random team. So here we go. Just, I'm going to pick in three, two, one. Who is it? The Tigers. Wow. One of the worst teams to pick, too. Oh, my gosh. All right. So injuries, we could either turn them off or minor or moderate. Oh, my. That's actually a lot more in depth. Okay. So we could either turn off injuries. We could turn on minor injuries, moderate injuries, or realistic injuries. I'm thinking that we go with realistic, actually. The trades, we could also turn a little bit. So unrestricted would be can initiate with any trade. All trades will be accepted. Okay. We can't do that. Loose. I'm sure you guys already know what loose would mean. So basically, it's not going to be insanely difficult to actually have a trade go through. And then strict, all trades get a strict evaluation by the rival GM. Only trade offers that seem fair will be accepted. I think I might go a loose for this one just because I don't think I'm going to be that great at the strict stuff just yet. Because again, because again, I'm coming from LB The Show. You guys already know what that trade system's like. So either way, here we go. Let's check out this dumpster fire. But either way, the lineup looks fine. Like Victor Reyes, you know, Nico Goodrum. The thing that I'm looking at is the attributes. It is, it is a lot different than what I'm used to. So like normally I'm used to numbers. This is not. This is just a normal chart of like what they're good in. So my dude Victor, he's great in speed. Not so good hitting wise. As you guys can see, his power and contact are not good. Oh, they straight up did my dude Miguel Cabrera dirty. What is that? He's good at contact, but nothing else. Wow. That is straight up messed up. Now I'm kind of concerned. I need to see like the top guys. How the heck am I going to go over to these? Okay, there we go. This might be a little bit easier. Let's look at like Jose Altuve. What is his stuff looking like? Yeah, what? They seriously did my man so dirty. Oh my gosh. Look at Jose. Of course, the contact's going to be up. The power is halfway there, but you're telling me that Jose Altuve has more power than my dude Miguel Cabrera? That's kind of nuts. That's actually kind of nuts. Okay, either way, moving on. I want to see how realistic this trade system is going to be. So I'm going to go with the team that I know personally. So I'm just going to go with the Rays because I know a lot of the people on that team. All right, so there we go. And this thing is up today because we got Jesus Aguilar on the team. Wow. Nick Anderson as well. Okay. All right, but let's see how crazy this thing is. So let's say I want Matt Duffy, right? Matt Duffy's pretty good. He hasn't played in a while. Let's say I want him for, let's say Brandon Dixon, someone that's really not the greatest. So here we go. Let's see. If I trade it. 
Declined. Okay, that actually seems about normal. Okay, let's move on to something a little bit more intense. Michael Fulmer for Matt Duffy. Okay, froze for a second. I think it went through, to be honest. I really do. Yeah, okay. This is really going to be the big telling tale right here. All right, let's see. These three, Jamer, Dual Lugo, and Victor Reyes for Andrew Benatendi. No way. No way. This thing's busted. This thing is broken. Whatever I said before, cut it. Cut it out of your mind. This thing is busted. Well, now we got Benny Bombs for three guys that really aren't even that good. Like, Dual Lugo is probably the best out of those three. That is insane. All right, well, for free agents, I'm just going to go ahead and get Cody Allen. We don't have to sign him for an amount of money. Okay. Also, one thing I really don't like is that it doesn't show who's a starter and who's a reliever. I'm sure you could already guess like Brad Boxberger, 100% is a reliever, but I still think that they should have it more like LB the show where it is starters, relievers, and closers, that type of thing. Just to be safe, I'm going to sign my dude Bartolo Colon 100%. So there we go. We got Bartolo now. Do I even try to rebuild this team? Like really? Do I even try? Also from the lineup, you have to go all the way over with the right stick to check out the rotation. So, okay. It's a little bit different. Haven't really been following the Tigers all that much so hopefully Gregory's not doing too bad but oh there we go got rid of him and then actually not really got rid of they're just going to the reserve so it's not really a big deal and also I hate to do it to Edwin Jackson but I'm gonna replace him with Bartolo Colon so there we go we also got Matt Moore in here so like there's a lot of people on the reserves Jordan Zimmerman on the reserve like hold on what the heck if we're paying this dude like 20 something million a year he's playing I don't care what is gonna happen He's playing. He's 100% playing. You're out of your mind. All right, well, here we go. Let's finally just go ahead and get into this. Let's go ahead and go to the all-star break. All right, here we go. Simulate to July 8th. So is it actually going to go through it or is it just going to jump to it? It looks like it's just going to jump to it. I'm pretty sure. All right. I like that feature, actually. Wow. Jordy Mercer, a foot fracture. I do like this, though. I expected to miss out on 26 to 42 days. I like that feature. That is actually really good. I like being able to see that, you know? I don't know why, but I like being able to see that. All right. So here we are. It looks like we are not doing good. As you guys can see, every game in July we've lost. Actually, no. We beat the White Sox one time, but either way. One, two, three, four, and five losses to start out July. Wow. How are we actually doing? I got to see. Standings, oh my, wait, we're not even doing that bad. We're 37-51, that's a lot better than I thought. Tell me how the heck we're 12 games out. Hold on, Alexa, what's the Detroit Tigers standings? I gotta check. The Tigers are in fifth place in the AL Central Division. Okay. 37 and 82. 30, oh my God. It's, it's going to be different than that because it's going to take a couple days for this to actually like get edited and get out. But still, the fact that they're in last place and only 37 dubs on the season, that is a yikes. And we're in August. Oh, my God. Either way, I don't really know how to run this whole day to day thing. So is there a way that I could get the computer just to run like the ad free agents and everything? Doesn't look like it. So... <laughs> Yikes. Um, all right, I guess I'll do my best. What do I have to add? Because it doesn't really show the exact amount of people that I have on my team and the exact type of people that I need. So that could definitely get changed 100%. Look at how good Jacoby Jones is, apparently. What the heck? He's better than Miguel, apparently, with power? Okay. Like, what? Also, Ben Attendee's hitting a 220. Miguel's hitting a 180. 180. For Miguel. Um... How the heck are we winning? Brennan Dixon, a 192. Matt Duffy, a 233. Are my coaches just straight up sleeping? What is this? For a temporary shortstop, I can get Royds McGee. Actually, apparently Sean Bauer's the best player ever, so I'll go with Sean Bauer. What the heck is that? All right, so now I got to go all the way down here and replace Sean Bauer with Jordy Mercer, so there we are. And now I think we're all good. So let's go ahead and continue to sim through this. All right, so right now the rotation's not really doing the best. Matthew Boyd has a six ERA pretty much, so not good at all. Ben Attendee. Leading our entire team with average of a 243. Nico's got a 226. Miggy's got a 185. Brennan's got a 192. Matt Duffy's got a 232. Then it just goes 192, 165, 186, and 181. Do we have like Little League bats swinging with MLB pitching? Like, what is this? I cannot take this. So I'm just going to go ahead and sim all the way until the end of the year because what the heck is this? All right, so we finish off in third place, 73 and 89. So not horrible, I guess, for our team because I think the Tigers are going to do a lot worse than that, to be honest. Finish out 20 games back, really don't even see the wild card, which is a big issue. So like, what the heck is that? I want to see the wild card standing. So that's actually kind of important. But all right, whatever. Let's just go ahead and sim past the postseason. I kind of want to see what the heck this offseason is going to look like. All right, so the Astros won the World Series. We could just begin the next year without like any free agents or anything. What? Okay, there we go. Retiring players. We got Bartolo Colon and Gordon Beckham just retiring. All right. Does that really... Is there anything else I need to do? Like free agents, trades, do something? Don't tell me this is actually how we have to go through this entire thing. There is nobody here. Okay, just go through that, I guess. What the... Okay. Wait, That that's actually it. 
They, they've been replaced by just randoms. That's it. There's no like off season or anything where I go get new free agents that might be coming in. Like that's that's legit it. That's it. Didn't think that that would kind of be how it is, but whatever. I was kind of hoping that we could actually sign some people, but that's fine. Because I wanted to get more pitching help. I wanted to actually rebuild this team, but you literally can't. You have to do it all through trades. All right, so once again, I'm going to put this entire thing to the test. This is going to be the biggest test ever. So here we are. Let's take someone like Sean Bauer. Kind of a no-name that we got. We're going to put him in a trade for Bo Bichette, Biggio, and if we could find him, Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Let's see. Let's see if this actually works. So again, Sean Bauer, guy that we have no idea who the heck he is for three of the biggest prospect studs in the game right now. So here we go. Let's see. Okay, thank God. What if I take out Biggio though? Okay, still declined. Thank goodness. That was actually insane. What about if I just go Vladdy and then Biggio? Okay, good. What if I do a solid one for one? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. That was easy. <laughs> Like, come on. We got my dude Flo Bichette for, hold up. Just let me, let me find him real quick. Sean Bauer. Sean Bauer. What the heck? All right, I can't take any more franchise. We're gonna hop into like some exhibition game or something. I'm not taking any more franchise, heck no. And real quick, I gotta turn this difficulty down. We're gonna turn this to easy because I have no idea what I'm doing, dude. I have no clue. So here we go. Do we do home run derby or do we just do the exhibition game? Let's just do an exhibition real quick. All right. Again, I'm going to go ahead and pick a random team. So here we go. Going to cover my eyes. And then I'm just going to probably count down from like 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Who do I get? Texas Rangers. All right. Not horrible, but and they're going to be facing the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The White Sox. All right. I kind of want to play as the White Sox, to be honest. I want to play with Eloy Jimenez, but still. Let's go over to, uh, well, I guess we have to play with them. What the, <laughs> what just happened? What is happening? Whatever. All right, we're playing with the White Sox, apparently. At least from what I think, I don't know. But I'll be honest here. I give RBI Baseball credit for actually maintaining, like, all of these just stats, like everything. Everything's kind of like up to date. It's actually pretty cool. And I kind of wish I would be the show would do that kind of stuff, but still. So that's actually pretty cool. Danny Santana is not doing that bad though. So I don't know what the heck is going on there, but still. All right, so real quick, here we go. This is going to be important. Don't tell me you have to move with the pad. Oh no, I was never good at these type of games. You guys are about to watch me just straight up embarrass myself right here. Again, graphics actually look kind of sick. I'm sure you guys can see from the Elgato. It actually looks really sick. And we're just moving around with our stick. What the heck? Okay, late 99, relax there. Let's go, Chew, let's get it. What was that? You're out of your mind. Get me out of here. Come on, Chew, sit back in the box. I'm gonna need you to sit all the way back. There it is, there it is, that's on the ground. Oh my gosh. All right, well, that's an out. Here we go, Danny Santana, let's get it, baby. Again, going all the way back in the box. This guy throws 100, and we're late on it. My God, that was actually gonna be kind of good. We can just swing, what the heck? Okay. Again, I don't know what the heck is going on. This dude's throwing some witchcraft over here. What is that? All right, come on. This dude just straight up hit me, okay. Now we got Elvis Andrews back here. Come on, Elvis. This guy's throwing witchcraft, oh! Elvis! That's not gonna do anything though. My dude Aloy is gonna be there, but still. What a drive. Okay, I like that. I do not want to pitch though. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do that. I'd say I'm better at hitting. I, I don't want to pitch. How the heck? How did he do like that weird witchcraft type move? Okay, all right, relax here, guy. Trying to go two on the shields. You're gonna get in there because the shield doesn't have the arm. But what the heck was that like squiggly pitch? Like, how do I throw that? My stuff's just going. Okay, Odor. Can I switch, please? Switch, switch. The shields throw a home just to be freaking safe. Oh my God. Never mind. He does have the arm. All right. Tell me how the heck my dude Mike Miner is throwing 87. Am I doing something wrong? I have to be. And that's, that's gone. That's hundred percent. Just get out of here. Like two guys scoring. I already know about it. Like I'm not even worried. Never mind. One guy scored. We're fine. But still like, what the heck? Can I like find settings or something? How the, this doesn't tell me anything, dude. This doesn't tell me anything at all. Can I please just see how the heck to throw harder? Controls, please. Pitching, here we go. So movement, selection, and control are all on the freaking, like, pad, really? Okay, move over. Is there anything else? Pitch movement, there we go. Figured that out. To throw a normal pitch. Throw a fastball. Okay, all right. Got it, got it, got it. That did not help. Okay, well, Aloy just took me yard, pretty much. Never mind, that's going foul. Thank goodness. Okay, hold down left, and then hold an X. That's a lot faster, but my dude Aloy's right on it, so that's freaking sick. Let's try to strike him out, though. Here we go. And then do that weird, like, move. That didn't work. Okay. I just want to hit one more time. I don't want to get smacked up. 
By the White Sox? Come on, get me out of here. Please just strike him out or something. Oh my god, it's, he's fouling everything off. There we go, that's a strikeout. Perfect, what do you know? Get out of here, stupid. Thousands of tears later. Okay, well, Calhoun just hitting it straight up from a can. Nope, all right. All right, Mazar's batting stance isn't 100% off. I'll give him credit for that one. Just having to move and then also hit is just, like, I, I can't. You guys already know, I just can't. So like, here, let's see. If it goes inside... That, that's actually pretty good. So, Odor, there we go. What is that going to be? Like a single, probably? Yeah, it's a single. I don't even know how to advance the runner, so there we go. It's a single. Whatever. We'll take it. Now, if it comes in... Okay, that went out. Sick. But if it comes in, I just immediately just slam my thumb onto the uh, onto the left. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, Tim Anderson's got a, a magnetic glove. Good to know. Yeah, that's it. That's actually it. I... No, I can't. All right, well... I'm done. I'm actually done. Oh my god. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys want me to do something else with RBI Baseball, then just tell me in the comments below. But this... I'm gonna give my final rating right here. Alright? RBI Baseball 19. I'm gonna give my final rating. Okay? I would say franchise, in all actuality... Like, comparing down with the show is a little bit difficult, but... If it's its own game, and it's for Xbox... That's the only game you can get on Xbox. I hate to do it, but unless they make some serious improvements, I don't know if I would 100% get it. If you guys love baseball, I'd still get it. It's not horrible, but it definitely needs some tuning a little bit. It definitely needs a lot of tuning, to be honest. Like, franchise needs tuning. You need They need to add a bunch more stuff into there. It's not a finished game, in my opinion. So, I'm sure they are. I believe in the MLB. I believe in that whole team over there. So, uh, we'll see what happens. But either way, I'll give my final score being, honestly, with everything and comparing it, I mean, it's kind of hard to, but comparing to telling me the show, I'm giving it like a 3 or 4 out of 10. Yeah, it is. It's not there yet. And I'm sure everybody else knows that. So either way, hope you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, like I said, leave a like on it. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on that post notification bell, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Also, if anybody from the MLB is watching this, I'm just being honest, so please love me.